John, how, uh, how's it going talking like yourself? It's going okay. I'm having trouble shaking. Oh, hello, boys. Yeah, it's much more comfortable in there, isn't it? I feel it? <laughs> much more comfortable talking like that. Where are you from, John? I'm from Chicago, Illinois. You, what's your b racial background? My racial background is Irish Catholic. So why is it that you act like a Jew from the 70s? Why do you seem most comfortable? <laughs> it's my most comfortable mode. Jin, should we stretch first? No, let's just, you know, stay tight and get injured. Check it out. Lou Alcinda. Okay. All right. What's going on? That's just something, just tweaked a little something real bad. I like to rotate until the pain spreads and it's more of a numb, numb everywhere kind of thing. There it is. You know, it's nice to see how sort of loopy and weird your arms are. I've got real noodle arms these days. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I was like, yo, boo. Yeah. Yeah. Really get, it get it up! Get it up! You guys are get really it black. Get it up! Ah! That's my ball. Oh, right. <laughs> it's a little flat. Get the ball out of here, yo. Let's tools it up. We got two, four. We got six. Also, if you guys just want to hang out. What are you talking about, yo? I don't know. Let's what a, teams up, baby. Right. 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 I got my man right here. Mike, yeah. Mike, be balling. Mike, yeah. Mike! Let me see who I want. JJ! Whoopie woo! Woo! You know how I do it, JJ. We come as a pair. I'll get this Bob Barker, Ron Paul looking dude right here. Damn, yeah. you be right on the button with these fools, man. <laughs> but sister, give me Judy Dench up in here. You know Judy Dench? <laughs> you know what? Ah! Damn, oh, right, Dame Judy Dench ready to shit some hoops. Hey, Gil. Ball up, ball up. I'll scratch All right. you up. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, all right. Come up here, yo. Come on, man. First off, OJ did it. All right. You know, my analyst says that if I don't get out and play more, that uh, that I'm never going to get back in a game properly. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Uh -huh. You're terrible. Now, my boy, Gil, that guy's no good. I could really lay him out quickly. With him out of the way, I think we're just going to be 360 spins and slam dunk pointers. Dude. Take your hands off me, St. Geek, when I'm not one of your students. Oh, I put a lot more than my hands inside my students. Oh, get off of me! <laughs> Oh, oh snap! You got cut my shoulder. And Ron Paul just broke Phil Spector's shoulder, yo. My, my friend is a pipped shoulder. Please give me a burnt bagel for me. Mr. Giglin, I'm gonna take a quarter page ad out in the Village Voice to let everyone know that you're a legend, not a best friend. And I'll take a half page ad out that says free nude massage. Hello. Oh. oh. Hello. Hi, I'm Dr. Nussbaum, and you are Mr. Faison? I uh, know. Mr. Faison is my ex-wife's husband's name. You can call me Gil. Or don't call him at all. Call me, George St. Giglin. Get Ben St. Giglin. Get stuffed, Faison. Okay, um, so you are wearing a tote bag as a sling, so something's wrong with your shoulder? Yeah, also, uh, I'm having some other medical issues that I'm in here to talk about to yeah, get for yeah, yeah, free. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, uh, he pees ten times a night, and he has to keep getting up, and it's why I'm so tired. I mean, why, uh, he's so tired. I'm using him for medical advice. I I'm sorry, who are you? If you have an orthodontist in here, I've been using a couple chiclets as teeth in the back. Also, I have caffeinus. Caffeine penis. When I drink too many cappuccinis, my penis becomes useless. Um, I, I can't really address that right now. I have a 16-year-old pregnant girl in the other room that I really need to get to. I, and I have bagel-induced cholesterol. Right. So, um, you're having some pain in your shoulder? Yeah. Okay, can I, um... Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, I barely touched oh, boy. Okay, so it's very tender, I see. Yeah. Okay, you know, you, I'm getting a very strong ammonia smell over here. Oh, um, that's because I let my cat piss on me for health. He has a little tabby named Judd Hirsch. So, how did you hurt your shoulder? No. It seems you may have dislocated it. And this guy decked me because the blacks liked me more. Yeah, we were playing basketball with these awful black guys, and he displeased me, so I took him out. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm actually legally bound to report any instances of domestic violence between partners. Huh? You think we're homosexual partners? You think we're homosexuals? No. Who would give you that? I mean, look, I guess we are best friends, you know. Sure, who isn't? I guess we do live together. Oh, it's easier when you share a hot pot. Yeah. And I guess we do sleep in a Murphy bed together. You know, but we're not sexual. Though I guess a lot of couples our age are not sexual. So I guess in a way, I mean, we are sort of a gay domestic partnership and I am abusive. Huh. 
داره بده نمیتونه بده و اینه I'm either going to treat this shoulder or I need you guys to go Jerk him off Is a sex symbol. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Young, beautiful geisha. Are you here for the party? You're a little early, but the early bird gets a wormy worm. And that's that's code for Schwanz. I'm here because the super said there's some complaints about some possible hoarding. Hoarding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, hoarding with a D. Are you the cleaning lady? I'm a clutter specialist. I say entree, entree, my dear. All right then. Come in. Come into our dojo. So do you have a ride? Does anyone know you're here? It smells like um, tuna in here. <laughs> oh, thank um, you. Well, you guys are uh, planning on having a party here tonight. Right. We're having a real uh, sort of a swingers thing. But you know, we should get rid of some things to make space Absolutely. for your big, That's what I've big, been saying. Big party. You wow. and me. What do you mean? Why would we yeah. get rid of anything? Well, let's start with these uh, newspapers. Totally. Excuse me, then how am I supposed to keep a record of every time that Alan Alda is mentioned inside of a newspaper? Well, we call it all the news that's fit to print. It's a thing we like to stack. Oh, you know what? You have just a great, lovely snow globe collection here. Thank you. I, I mean, it's covered by this duck sauce here. Yeah, well, yeah. What are we supposed to brush our teeth with if we don't use the duck sauce? No, so, no you don't. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. And there's duck sauce everywhere. Nobody needs this much duck sauce. You're tearing us apart, Yoko. She's not Yoko. She's Connie Chung to our two more. You've <gasps> got to relax, please. I'm having a panic attack. I'm oh. having great anxiety. You, you know what's happening? The state of this apartment, it's like that A&E show inside the actor's studio. You know, because you're an artist. <laughs> Because I'm creative. I can't have you interfere with another lay of mine, man. I need this one. Come here, my best friend. Come here. Everything's gonna be fine. Take your 911 snow globe. Lay down. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a couple Zinax. Okay, here's tens a couple. I'm gonna work with her. I won't let her touch anything. Everything will be fine by the time you wake up. Let's get rid of everything, right? Great. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay. Do you do gross Polaroids? So we submitted to the New Yorker and they took away our subscription. Would you believe it? You know, I did my thesis on the history of the turtleneck sweater and the first one was made out of wood. Rise and wine. Oh God, I just had a nightmare that Hot Lips from Mash attacked me. Uh, Where's all my stuff? Where's my newspapers? Oh, don't worry, they're burnt and the party started. Who's here? Only some of the hottest singles from my Kashi addiction group. Glenn Petronia, welcome. Good friends. Kashi. And some of the most disgraced professors on the Upper West Side. These women are wetter than an aqua sock. Yeah. Oh. Georgie! Oh, crap, Sylvia. She's wanted to sleep with me since the wall came down. The Berlin Wall? No, that Tupac mural on 90th. Georgie! Oh, there you are! <laughs> We're about to do impressions of our favorite NPR personalities. Are you in? Oh, uh, afraid not. Afraid not, Syl. Can't right now. Of course. Gil must be dragging you down to see Joel play music. Who's right now? Your son? Oh, yes. my beautiful son, Joel, the light of my life. It's a very conflicting subject, fathers and sons, and it makes me want to go have a clam hat. Excuse yes, me. You know what? This party is a snoozathon. We gotta go to town. Mix it up. I don't know. I guess it'd be good to reconnect with my boy, Joel. Yeah, also, we could dangle some of those city college collabs. Yeah. Tid town. Tid in town. <laughs> I can still really taste the clams. Still within town, NYC. Ooh. Hey, set music play, because I know that I'm shouting. Oh, finally. All right, look at these young co-eds. All right, in town. Bingo bongos. Excuse me. All right. Oh, who's Nosferatu out there? Oh, that's my sweet Joel. Yeah. Oh, sweet Joel. Yay! Cut the music! Cut the music! Dad? Sweetheart, I told you not to call me Dad anymore, remember? I'm Gil. You remember my best friend, George St. Geeglin? It's me, Uncle George. George St. Geeglin. Yeah, sure. I, I mean, who's the little spark plug in the hat there? The girl with the child's body? It's my friend. You know how to get into her apartment? I'm so proud of you, Joe. Look at you doing your thing. You're still trying. You know what Lou Reed once said? Get out of my bedroom. You guys are masturbating in here, and this is my home. What? 
I know that I haven't really been anywhere near you for about 10, 15 years, but I just want to say to you that we need a little bit of cash, right, huh? For cabby cab, we don't do bus. Get out of here. Thanks, son. And boy, oh boy, it's great to see you. Gil. What's that, Jolie? What'd you think of my music? You know I've never been the best judge of songs. If you were to kill yourself, how would you Phil, do it? Come on. It's <laughs> <laughs> the easiest question I've ever been asked in my life. <laughs> but how would you but what Gee, you... let's see. Um, I love taking pills. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe. Yeah, but maybe Maybe you doing take... what I love. Bye. Normally we say oh hello, but today we're saying goodbye to the city New of York. New York City. This city is now run by corporations. Stabucks. At Chipotle. Covers the landscape. The Fuhrer, Rudy Giuliani, made this a police state. You can't even smoke in a hospital anymore. Get stuffed. Thanks for nothing. 50 years of garbage. The power went out a few years ago and people didn't even steal VCRs and kill each other. Those days are gone. So, screw off, New York. And it's not because finally our little Lloyd realized that we had been living in a dead man's apartment for free for the last 35 years. Uh, goodbye, apartment. So many memories, so many beautiful neighbors over the years. You remember the, there was there was there was Rachel and Monica, yeah. and down there there was uh, Chandler, Chandler and, and, and Joey. Joey. All of them mice that I named after the people on Friends. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Look at that! So where are we gonna move to, George? What do you mean move? We're gonna kill ourselves together. We're tired of New York, so we're gonna jump into the elevator shaft and kill ourselves. What? Yeah. I, I thought we were moving. No, 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 we're not moving. I couldn't have been more clear. I don't wanna die. I just got these pants tailored. Uh, let's jump on one in honor of New York One, that great channel that automatically comes up. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt so much. All right. And one. Yes! Oh, you know what? I left my click radio on. I'd hate for the battery to run out. Oh, oh hello. <sighs> What's going on? I broke both my legs because Joyce and Geeglin wanted to leave New York. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't really. You broke. He broke both his legs because Joyce and Geeglin, who is me, wanted to leave New York. I thought I told you guys to use a different doctor. You're like a daughter to us. A daughter that we prank with too much tuna, which would be coming shortly. You've been pranking me since I was an intern, and it gets less funny every time you do it. The first time's the best. Second time, third time, fourth, it starts to lose its appeal. We did prank her, but good. And then I keyed your car, and your cheap car looked like shit after I keyed it. I don't know why you had to do that. Are you unmarried? I, I am unmarried, yes. Interesting. Uh, I have a son. Maybe he could set up a camcorder and you and I go at it like wolves. Can you not use the latex gloves, actually? Uh, this is included in my health coverage. I have Osamacare. You mean Obamacare? No. We're on a Cobra plan from... From Al-Qaeda. Yeah. Well, I forget now the details, but we did give them a great deal of money. You really donated money to Al-Qaeda? Yeah, we didn't know what they were going to get into. We, all they were doing back then was... Well... Actually, you're totally uncovered, and that's fine. Um, we don't turn anybody away. We're about to prank her with too much tuna. She is really about to get it. You could just leave. You could go cross-country and prank other people. What do you mean? Leave the city? Yeah. Like we had planned before Justin Eaglin tried to throw me off of an elevator? Maybe we should take uh, pranks in our lives on the road. I've been thinking about leaving New York myself. New York is not what it used to be. Mars bar closed. There's no more CBGBs. Oh, no. Oh, oh. oh my. Oh, this patient is dying. Oh, <laughs> oh. Or is he very much alive? Great. It's a cake made out of tuna that says, get bent. Translation, get stuffed. Then why didn't you just write, get stuffed on it? Because we couldn't fit it on the cake. Now, why don't you drop your skirt and touch the floor?
When the judge gave me the choice over going to prison for attempted murder or mining for gold, I chose gold. And when producers came to me and said, either go to jail or do this other show, I chose this other show. So now we're out in the woods, surviving by our wits alone. Yeah! This, this is hunt, hunt, or gather. Or gather. Gather. Hunt or gather. It's on. It's on? Sure. Now you realize that every time we set this up for one of these walkaways, we have to walk back and get the camera. Yeah, I realize that. I'm aware of it. Okay, well, don't screw it up this time. I you didn't can... screw it. Oh my God, you're the worst. Well, I'm sorry, but my feet are killing me. These finger shoes haven't broken in properly. Well, the finger shoes were your idea. You said they were the only way to travel on this. They're earth. the best way to gather, all right? You made me well, wipe with that poison maple out. Look, you needed to clean yourself down there. It's it's after 1 p.m. Come on. Yeah. Hey. Excuse me. I look at the Brady. Hey, thanks. Hey, that's no bird. It's one of those paranormal activities. Oh, no, I don't like scary movies. Please move no, away no, from no, that. no, no. Please move away from that. We are the ghosts. Uh -uh. Hey. Oh, hello. So, uh, we lost a couple of good hours because we had to go back and redo the walkaway shot, like I said, and because we had to rescue those old men. You guys talking into a swatch. I'm, I'm trying to do my testimonial here, so please. I had to gather extra scorpions. It tastes terrible. Look, as long as you're capturing things, would you run out and get me Centrum Silver? Man, I wish Dusty would help me out, but apparently he's sleeping the day away again. I'm not sleeping! I wish I... Shut up! God damn it! Grassman! Ugh! Well, what are you doing if you're not sleeping? How am I supposed to catch something if I'm not camouflaged? You haven't been doing anything! I'm gonna get out of this tent and I'm gonna prank you guys with so much tuna. You know what? You're ruining our show. Oh, God oh, damn it! Jesus! Are you kidding me? Look, you thought you were doing the outdoor dirt show, but it's a prank show.